Hi, I'm Bjorn Stolt from Martin Professional. Welcome to this P3 quick tip video on how to import a background image. So you start off by clicking at the little tool icon up in the right hand corner, select project options, then you see the tab for background image. Here you will click on choose image to choose the image. Select one of the images uh, that you have somewhere on your computer. Uh, I will start with the drawing image that I will import here and then resize the window a little bit, scroll out so I can see what's actually on my drawing. So here I need to find a measurement that I'm sure of and on this drawing I've got video fat rods. So I know they are a thousand millimeters. So I click on scale and select a thousand millimeters then hold control, click in one corner of the fixture and then release in the other corner, making sure the scale is set now, clicking OK. We'll add the background image here to my view and then my fixtures will be in the correct size. So I can now go ahead and click on the video factor on 20 4 by 50 which I know I've got here. Click out the first one, take the second one. As you see they're covering my poles nicely. And then take a video dotron which sits up top and then have the first column selected and the fixtures are to scale. I can also select this view mode button up here to select blank in case I don't want to see the background image anymore or go back to my background image. From version 5.3 which I'm working on right now I also have the option to set opacity the background image so I can set it to be very high 100% that would be basically the image with no opacity or I can set it really low to just have it as a very pale background but for me the 50% somewhere in the middle has worked good and will probably be my weapon of choice so this is one way of using background image second way if we delete this one would be to take a photo of the rig so i go to project options i clear the background choose a new image take a photo that i've got from another setup then here i know my video phase 5 panels are 500 millimeters wide so i set the scale to 500 hold control click and drag 500 millimeters hit apply and then the background image is changed for the new setup, which I can now use to map over. So this would be the case if you come to a show that already has the setup built and you're now gonna map over it. The other way would be if you're working from home and don't have it set up. Thank you for watching this P3 quick tip video.